In this last example of the notes for this section, we would like to use the uh, alternating series approximation theorem to approximate this series right here, correct to within three decimal places. Now, if we're going to want to use the alternating series approximation theorem, then we need to make sure that this is number one in alternating series and number two that it actually converges um, because you can't approximate the sum if the sum does not exist. So I'm going to let you guys use the A. I'm going to say, okay, this one converges. And at this point in the notes, you should be able to check this pretty easily that the AST applies, alternating series test applies, and that this series is indeed convergent. convergent. So, but that is definitely the first step. So I just want to write that down. So before you actually try to approximate a sum, you need to make sure that the sum actually exists. Okay. And then the alternating series approximation theorem tells us that the remainder at any step, so the kth remainder at any step, um, its absolute value is always less than or equal to the next term of the sequence. And when I say the next term, I mean the, the non-alternating part of the next term. So you could take the absolute value of the term itself, um, but we already, for an alternating series, we know that the non-alternating part has to be positive. So. Um, so yeah, this is the estimate um, from the remainder term. This is going to allow us to find our k. All right. So in this case, what do we want to know? Well, this is less than bk plus 1. We want to make sure that, that our, our sum here is correct to within three decimal places. So in other words, we want our error to be less than 0 0.001, right? Three decimal places. And if our error is less than this, then we should be correct to within three decimal places. Okay, so let's write this out. Well, the b sub k, or the b sub k plus 1 for this series is, remember the alternating part, the negative 1 over, negative 1 to the power n is not part of this. So what we end up with is 1 over k plus 1 factorial for the b sub k, b sub k plus 1. And this we should write as a fraction, I think, because we have a fraction over here. So 0 0.001 is 1 over 1,000. All right, and now all we have to do is maybe do some cross multiplying and we'll see that our k plus one factorial, we need to find a k for which k plus one factorial is greater than or equal to 1000. So if you take the reciprocal here, you have to flip the sign, right? So what we have to do is find, and by the way, we don't want to choose our k to be too big. There's, there's lots of k that satisfy this. We don't want to waste our time, right? So we want to find the smallest k for which this is true. So the smallest k for which uh, k, fact, k plus 1 factorial is greater than or equal to 1,000. And so if you just start writing out your factorial, 0 factorial is 1, 1 factorial is 1, we're not even close yet, right? 2 factorial is 2, we're way off here. 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is now what? Uh, 4 factorial so 5 factorial is 5 times this, so that's 120. <clears throat> so by the way, now these are growing slowly, slowly, but now they're growing much bigger because the next term is 6 factorial. That's 720. That's close, right? So now we're getting close because we're trying to get to 1,000. We need to get above 1,000. And five. Uh, the next number after 6 is 7. 7 factorial, it turns out, is not only bigger than 1,000, it's, you know, a lot bigger. This turns out to be 50, 40. So there we go. This is the first factorial that's larger than 1,000. And so that's what we want to use, right? So we're going to use uh, k plus 1 equal to 7. And of course, that means that our k is just equal to 6. All right? And if we do this, then what does that mean? That means that the partial sum, s sub 6, which is the sum as n goes from 0 up to 6, of negative 1 to the n over n factorial. This thing has an error, right? So the error related to this thing, this thing will be approximately equal to s, right? Where the error, s sub s, the, total, the actual sum, minus s sub 6, is less than or equal to 1 over 1,000, which is our goal, right? This is the error here. All right, so let's write this out and add it up. S sub 6 is going to be equal to, remember um, in our series, this is negative 1 to the n, so it starts with a positive term. So it's going to be 1 minus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial, 
minus 1 over 3 factorial, plus 1 over 4 factorial, minus 1 over 5 factorial, plus 1 over 6 factorial. And that's it. That's all we have to add up, right? Um, of course, these two cancel. Everything else here we can write as fractions. So we have 1 half uh, minus 1 sixth plus 1 24th minus 1 120th plus 1 over 720. All right, and we were asked to write this as a decimal, correct to three decimal places at this point. Uh, feel free to use the calculator, but it's good to write out the sum in fraction or reduced terms or whatever you want to call this um, just to see how simple this is. And remember, this is going to get us to within three decimal places of the correct answer. It only really takes this, you could do this by hand, right? You could find a common denominator and add this up. But it turns out that this is equal to about, so let me use the squiggles here, it's equal to about 0 0.368. So 368, the next term would be 0. It would round up to 3681, but 368, we're asked to find three decimal places. And so that's our answer using the, the alternating series uh, remainder theorem.